Okay, well, uh, I want to welcome everybody. Uh, for those people who are returners or uh, people who are new to hearing our message, I want to make sure that we're able to uh, get this message simplified and we're able to get this message out so everybody can use it as a spread by being an influencer and an advocate. That's really what uh, you are. Let's kind of take off the agent hat. Let's kind of forget about what we know about uh, insurance and how it's been sold in the past. And let's uh, become an influencer and an advocate. So a little bit about the Advocacy Network. Um, about 12 years ago, I was uh, uh, created that to help people avoid all forms of financial victimization. That included scams, fraud, and predatory sales tactics. Now, to date, our work has helped over uh, save $15 million. And that $15 million would have been directly lost to financial victimization of some form. And now what I, I want to do with the middle class millionaire plan is create a system to help the middle class attain financial independence. Now it's a each person teach person. It's a learn. It's like, I like to call it learn, teach, um, you know, reach, um, learn, earn, reach and teach, learn, earn, reach and teach, learn. Okay. So the problem we're having right now for the uh, middle class uh, people is the message, the typical insurance message has been over the years about saving more or reducing your debt. And that's still predominantly the message being spread by the financial services industry. But it's missing the point because if people could save more, they would. If people could pay down debt, they would. It's only common sense. There's only one reason and one factor that people can't do these things. And we're asking them to do things they can't do because they have not increased their income. So the whole idea is that the middle class has long been a direct income driven class. They exchange time for money. That's what they've learned and that's what they always do. And one source of income will never have the amount of increase that people need to do the things that the wealthy do. So the other factor is, uh, is we live in the richest nation in the world and have the highest rate of financial illiteracy in the world. And that definitely, typically, impacts the middle class very negatively. And just look at the debt, okay? The trillions of dollars of debt is held by the middle class. You'll see that number coming up on a slide. And for the longest period, they've been in one cycle. It's a habitual cycle. It's the cycle of work, earn, spend, borrow, and pay. And this cycle creates what I like to call the reverse compound interest syndrome. In other words, Instead of compounding money for yourself, you're compounding interest. And that compounding interest makes you in a position where you can never pay it down. So the middle class is unaware of how the wealthy have used certain financial tools, which are available to them, but not many agents have really searched out the middle class to tell them about this, okay? So that's what we really want to cover here. So here's the solution. And that solution me needs a system. And that system is going to create awareness. So that system is the middle class millionaire plan. And that's why we have all the pieces of the story. And by the way, I want to tell this story just like A.L. Williams years ago in the 80s. A.L. Williams created a story. And when he created that story, guess what? He wasn't selling insurance. Everybody thought he's selling insurance. He didn't sell insurance. He sold huge amounts of it, but it was the story that captured people's attention. It was the story that captured their emotion. It was the story that fired them up. He had a villain and he had a hero. The villain was the life insurance whole life policy. It's a wonderful vehicle, and we're talking about that right now. But he made that the villain, and people jumped all over that. And then he turned everybody into a buy-term and invest-the-rest person who told another person, who told another person, who told five other people. And before you know it, he had literally hundreds of thousands of apostles out selling insurance, term insurance. So that's what we want to do with the middle class millionaire plan. It's a fresh message. It's a story. It's a system that has a concept of three-step process. We've got a target audience, which is huge. It's over 100 million people easily. OK, we don't need. But yet, uh, honestly, if we had 10,000 of a million people 
we would have more than we could say grace over. So everyone has to cut this down and really get a good feel for it. Now, we're going to talk to them in this story about a unique asset class. That unique asset class is from the concept of the infinite bank, Nelson Nash's concept, right? The infinite bank is funded by life insurance, which is a unique asset. It's not an investment, and you got to stop selling it as such. It's a unique asset that creates tax-free liquidity, tax-free income, and generational wealth, okay? Now, the person who does this, who spreads the message, is a financial concierge. So that's a growth position. That's going to increase income while also helping fund the three-step process. Now, I, I like to show agents that we really don't know as much as we think we know about our own industry. And somehow we are uh, really uh, beating ourselves up by a scarcity-driven mentality. Okay? But um, just to understand that the leading insurance agent, the guy who sells the most insurance in the world, is a guy named Gideon Duplessis. Life agents should know the name, but none do. I promise you, nobody knows this guy's name. He uh, produces, he has earned 70 million per year over the last 10 years himself. $70 million per year for 10 years. Okay. I also talk about the MDRT all the time because historically, the MDRT is filled with career agency producers, it's not filled with brokers. The independent world does not sell as much as the career agency side. Oh, they always talk about it. I guess as a whole, they might, but not individuals. So the top 10 in the MDRT are usually always career agency producers. And those are people who are representing one company with a very small little uh, uh, pool of products. And yet they're earning $250,000 a year, $500,000 a year, a million a year, occasionally even 2 million a year, okay? The greatest names in our industry the Ben Feldmans of the world, okay? The John Savages, the greatest producers all sold concepts and not product. We're selling a story and a concept. They solved, they solved the conceptual problem with a specific solution. That's what we're doing, okay? They also built referral-based practices by gaining an authority. People came to them because they believed they were an authority on what they were talking about. They were not generalists. They were not all over the place selling everything from A to Z. They were authority-driven people. So let's look at the largest life insurance movement in the USA. And I don't think it's ever been replicated yet. I mean, it's still in effect because A.L. Williams sold it off. But I'm just going all the way back to the beginning of A.L. Williams' movement. So what did he do? As we said earlier, he created a mission based upon a concept. It was and remains financially illiterate. His concept was definitely taking advantage of people and it was financially illiterate, but it led to $100 billion in sales. $100 billion in, in, in 10 years or less and $2 billion in revenue for his own operation in his own pocket. So he was a billionaire off of this uh, mission. Now, it still exists today because Primerica, which is who he sold off to, is still a major, a major multi-billion dollar organization, which is still spreading the same financial illiteracy. If we're doing anything, we're helping people to learn a, a message of financial literacy. So this system, this model, this business model, as you, as you may want to call it, plus the financial concierge concept, the financial concierge is the person who helps someone else learn, earn, reach, and teach. And then another one is created and another one is created, okay? So that can benefit 10,000 of potential pro prospects, as I mentioned, 10,000 out of 100 million. We don't need much more. We only need 10,000. If we have 10,000, we are gonna be very close to a couple of hundred million in sales, okay? So Let's look quickly at the financial concierge, okay? The prospects that you're going to talk to, which is anybody, everybody in the middle class, anybody in the middle class, any type of worker, uh, we're now talking about uh, federal employees and we're talking about other markets, okay? But everyone who's, who's in that earning $60,000 a year to say maybe, uh, let's go all the way up to uh, uh, below the mass affluent and they're earning 150 a year. 
So somewhere in that 60 to 150 a year, there's about 100 million of those people, okay? Now, they're totally unaware of the concepts that you're going to introduce. So you're going to help create awareness, okay? The bottom line is, the story is in order to reach financial independence, you have to increase your income. Now, this is not a sales presentation, folks. We don't have to sit down and fact find. We don't have to do a lot of uh, digging and searching and, and kind of make people aware of, oh, you should have 100,000, 200,000, 500,000 in life insurance, or you need this or you need that. No, we're selling one specific plan with a fixed amount of premium, the same to every person that we talk to. It is honestly one size fits all. It really is one size fits all. Now it's up to you as a financial concierge to help people understand how they can fund it and why it's so important for them. So we're going to show them the learn, earn, reach and teach system. So you learn this, there's a book, got a book, everybody can read the book. Most people won't read the book, that's okay. We'll put a video out, a short two minute video the cliff notes, as it were, to show people, look, here's the deal. You want to become financially independent. You need to raise your income. And we got a system that is built upon financial literacy, learning properly, entrepreneurial commitment, so that you have some entrepreneurial skills and entrepreneurial uh, uh, wealth that you'll build. And lastly, individual accountability. And that's the model. That's the story. OK, we just have to go out and keep telling the story. And what is it about? So the product, the product of the story is the life insurance, but there's several other components to it. So I won't go into it, but here's the deal. It's unique. Our story is totally unique. No one's telling this story to the middle class. No one has ever told this story to the middle class. We are the first to market. OK, life insurance is a unique asset base that creates tax-free liquidity, tax-free income, and generational wealth, period. That's it. That's what it does. Everybody should have it. And that's what it's going to do to help them reach financial independence. We're the first to market on this. There's nobody else. There's, there hasn't been anybody else. There's no FMO, IMO. There's no carriers reaching out to the middle class with this type of message or this type of system. Why? Because they don't believe the middle class can afford it. Of course they can't. So they're not going to pitch something to the middle class that they believe they can't afford. But we're going to show the middle class how to afford it. And when they see it, they're always amazed because no one's ever shown it to them. Okay. So, you know, life insurance is um, is over 175 years old. And that right now, there's more than 50 life insurance carriers that are 100 years old plus. So it's one of the strongest industries, and we're going into a boom time. I started in this industry in the early 80s, and it was a boom time coming out right before the Reagan, uh, right before the Reagan uh, economic uh, erased the recession. During the recession, during those high interest rates, life insurance was a boom product. We're going to have the same thing right now. So here, it's authentic. We believe the middle class deserves the same opportunities that the wealthy do. It's not class warfare. It's none of that. We just think that you deserve to be able to do the same things they do, and you should have the same access to the same financial tools and products. And guess what? If you increase your income, you can do the same things, right? So the benefits to this whole thing, it's a simple three-step process. It's a consistent presentation along with education, and people become a product of the product. This was the multiplier that A.L. Williams built into his formula, the product of the product. When a financial concierge talks to another person who may or may not be uh, an agent, most likely not, and then they create the financial plan with them, the middle-class millionaire plan, that person then becomes an agent to increase their income because that's what they need to do to fund the vehicle. So everyone becomes a product of the product. And that multiplies very rapidly, very rapidly, okay? Real quick on a business model. Look, uh, I, together with Jim Ashley and several other uh, people who are in our uh, small sphere, uh, who've been around the industry 40 year, years plus um, or 30 years plus, we have well over 100 years experience in executive advisory. Uh, you know, there's no doubt that we have the expertise 
that anybody uh, can benefit from. We have a belief, the strongest belief that the middle class has long been underserved and they deserve to know what the wealthy know. Okay, not class warfare, no battles. They just deserve to know the same things. Now it's their choice whether they're gonna do something about it, but they deserve to know it, okay? And the design, the financial concierge agency hierarchy platform is built on learn, earn, reach, and teach. And it's the same multiplier and the same model that A.L. Williams turned out $100 billion in sales in 10 years. It's identical. And if anything, we have a higher commission to talk about. He was on an average of about $800 commission. We're on an $8,000 commission. So how much faster could we reach the levels that he reached? Now, the quick market overview I told you earlier, 16.4 trillion, this is the amount of debt that's now held by middle-class earners. 16.4 trillion, half of the national debt level is now held in uh, amount of debt by middle-class earners. Uh, the median income, got some spelling there, we gotta change occasionally, but the median income considered uh, for the middle class uh, is $63,500 a year, okay? And we look at the life insurance industry, the bottom 10% of life insurance earn $20,000 or less a year. The top 10% of uh, agent income is $120,000 a year plus. And I think in our average here, if people were doing one deal, one deal a month, one new middle-class millionaire plan a month, you'd be earning $96,000 a year, not counting the agents that you would build into your hierarchy and the override income that would come from the agency you build. So let's face it, you'd have to be on average, on average, you'd have to be above inside the top 10% of agents in the marketplace. One deal a month, okay? So um, 16.4 trillion gives us a great opportunity to develop awareness and display why increasing income is the only solution. Uh, 63,500 is proof that they need it to increase their income. There's no opportunity for financial independence without increasing income because you're not going to become financially independent on that salary. Nobody is. Hell, doctors and dentists and lawyers and such who earn $150,000, $200,000 a year and only have a single income, even they don't reach financial independence. Even they're scrapping and scraping, uh, you know, scraping for things, okay? So um, the agent view that we have, uh, it shows us where and how to increase the income by becoming a product at a product. This should be very, very complimentary and very uh, important to agents. Again, one deal, a, one deal a month. One deal a month is putting a person in a six-figure income. So our competition, quite frankly, really is none. IMO, FMO, MLM agencies, all the uh, alphabet agencies, okay? Um, they see the middle class as a single needs market. There's nothing to do with financial independence, nothing. They sell mortgage insurance concept and a final expense to 60 plus in the marketplace. That's what they sell. They sell it as a single needs uh, uh, operation and they, they, they do quite well. They sell hundreds of millions of dollars in premium but they are not doing the greatest service they could do for a class of people. They also promote qualified planning for retirement, which is the greatest financial victimization of our time. So, and that's part of our build out. We discuss that for people. The competitors, Primerica is a competitor, obviously, right? Not much of one because they're promoting financial illiteracy every single day. Term and invest the rest, WFG, PHP, FFL, FFS, FES, and there's, there's numerous others. I can't go through all of them. They all are using a debt reduction concept along with a single need sale, mostly with IUL. That's mostly their biggest thing. Uh, when it comes to the FMO, IMO, and the whole uh, national uh, brokerage side game plan is probably one of the biggest independent groups because they have, uh, they have basically consolidated so many others. They bought them up and they all, all own. And another thing I think a lot of agents don't know, and hopefully I can educate you on this. A lot of the big FMOs and IMOs are owned by uh, big name insurance companies. Okay. I mean, Allianz owns a huge amount of IMOs and FMOs. 
They're they're owned by Allianz, quite frankly. It's the partner behind the partner, but you know it's uh, in game plan. It has used a lot of money, heavily invested from Allianz and some others, to make those uh, to make those consolidations. So here's our growth strategy for for, and I'm being very conservative here, very conservative. By this time, in December 2023. I want to have 100 financial concierge. And quite frankly, I think this is ridiculous, but I do think that, you know, I want everybody to feel comfortable conservatively. 100 financial concierges, which would be producing average production, median production of $10,000, which would, uh, you know, which would would give the production um, a million a million plus on the production side. June 2024, double that, 20,000 median average income. Now it's 4 million in annual production. And by January 25, we have 500 financial concierges with a median average of 25,000, and that equals 12.5 million in annual production. Okay, so um, uh, that's nowhere near reaching the 100 million, 200 million, 500 million, or the billion. Uh, but it depends on everybody's effort and how fast people grow. But that's a conservative outlook, which I think is easily attainable. If these numbers can't be attained, everybody's doing something wrong, okay? And I don't plan on uh, that happening. So I'm not going to go through the financials. But here's the deal. The middle class millionaire plan is a system to help average people learn, earn, reach, and teach others on how to attain financial independence. It's going to be accomplished through a simple three-step process that's fully transferable. It's a mission which is singularly differentiated by a commitment to help middle class people attain financial independence. Not a complicated story. And real briefly, while I've got you, I'm going to show you, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but I'm going to show you uh, what our presentation for this would look like. Okay. And uh, let me share the screen back one last time and go here. And we'll take a quick look. All right. This is just a quick look at how we designed this for people to uh, make a very, very easy, not a presentation. I wouldn't even call it a presentation. It's a consultation. So what are we talking about? We're talking about a pathway to financial independence. There's three steps to it. We're gonna talk a little about financial literacy. And in doing that, I brought in the cash flow quadrant, which is basically the rich dad, poor dad, but I think it's an important concept to let people know the difference between an employee being self-employed, being a business owner, being an investor, the three types of income, okay? If people are going to increase their income, they've got to know what's out there. The three types of income, direct, residual, and passive, 95% focus on direct, and the 5% who attain financial independence, they create the others. They create direct, residual, and passive, okay? We get into the part here of talking about the 401k, why it's such a bad deal. Okay. We get to life insurance not being uh, not being an investment. We talk about the infinite bank, creating a business, how to get out of the 401k if they have one. If they don't have one, this is about creating a business and this is about the infinite bank. If they don't have anything, we are going to put in term insurance. So we're not leaving the process without someone buying at least term insurance. And by the way, that's all A.L. Williams sold. So at the bottom of this, the minimum we end up selling is a term insurance policy. Okay. We want to show people during that time how they got to increase their income to fund the infinite bank and form the three forms of income. Okay. Now, that's an educational process, but that's where they become a financial concierge. They become the product of the product. We talk about the income again, how it's how it's working. We talk about the financial concierge, okay? And then we talk about let's get started. So that is it in a nutshell. That's the whole model. That's everything that anyone could possibly uh, ask for. It's a quick consultation. It's not long. It's a consultation that's easily spread to others. It could be done in a group. It could be done one-on-one. -on -one. It could be done on Zoom. It could be done in a hotel room, uh, you know, a classic um, group meeting. It could be done in any format. So again, I want to stop there for the recording side. I want to thank everybody. I'm going to uh, uh, close down the recording, open up for questions and answers that we don't leave on the recording. 
And I look forward to you spreading this message with us. Go to theadvocacynet.com, theadvocacynet.com, download the book, take a, a look at the book, dig into it and understand what we're doing. And every Tuesday evening at 7 p.m., we have this workshop every single Tuesday. So I look forward to seeing you uh, uh, very uh, soon again. So let's just...